Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to write the equation of a parabola in vertex form if you're given the graph. So I guess first we should talk about what vertex form looks like, which would be this equation here. y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Now let me tell you what all these variables mean. a is kind of a coefficient, a scaling factor. The only thing you really need to know for a is that if a is greater than zero, in other words, it's positive, that's when the parabola opens upward. And when a is less than zero, that's when the parabola opens downward. Then for h and k, h and k is the vertex of your parabola. So h comma k. You will notice that since it's minus h, the x value will be flipped. So for instance, if I have x minus two squared plus six, the vertex is actually at positive two comma six. Always flip the sign for the x value and keep the y the same. So that's the basics. Now let's just hop into a couple examples. So first, I'm gonna draw a graph. My parabola is gonna have a vertex at the point two comma four, and then it's going to open upward like this. And I'm going to give you another point. Another point on this parabola is three comma six. So maybe that's this point right here is three comma six. And now I'm gonna ask you, write the equation of the parabola in vertex form. So I am going to help you, you're welcome. And so the first thing I would say is that if we know the vertex is two comma four, which we do, then that means h equals two and k equals four. So when I plug in my formula, it's y equals a times the quantity x minus two squared plus four. And instantly, I'm almost done the problem already. I just need to find out what a is. This is the hard part. To find a, we are gonna have to use the extra point I gave you, specifically that three is the x value and six is the y value. And I'm just gonna plug those into this function right here, three for x and six for y, and then I'm gonna solve for a. So watch how I do that. It's gonna be six equals a times three minus two squared plus four. So if I wanna solve this, there's a couple things I can do. The first thing I'll do is I'll combine the three minus two to just make that one. And we know one squared is just one, so this is just one a, or you can just write a. So that means six equals a plus four, subtract four from both sides. Really easy math here. A is gonna be two, which means my final answer is y equals two times x minus two squared plus four. And that's it, we're done. See, wasn't so bad, was it? Now the next example, oh phew, man, this is gonna be a tough one. Actually, it's about the same. But the vertex is going to be at this point right here at negative three comma one. And it's gonna open downward like this. And I'm gonna give you the second point. The second point is zero comma negative eight. So maybe I didn't draw this parabola the best. If if it's zero negative eight, it means it's probably something more like this. And this point right here is zero negative eight. But the picture doesn't really matter. What's important is that you remember the vertex form of a parabola. So first, I recognize the vertex is here. H is negative three and K is positive one. So instantly I know that it's gonna be Y equals A times the quantity x minus negative three, and since that's a double negative, I will write plus, and then squared, and then plus one. Now all I gotta do is use this point to solve for a, where x is zero and y is negative eight. So negative eight equals a times zero plus three squared plus one. So again, I'll reduce the thing in parentheses first. Zero plus three is three, three squared is nine, so this is nine a, or negative eight equals nine a plus one. Then I will subtract one from both sides. I get negative nine equals nine a, and that means a is just gonna be, when I divide both sides by nine, negative one. So my final answer is y equals negative. If it's negative one, I don't need to say negative one, I can just say negative, and then parenthesis, x plus three squared plus one, done. Final answer. And so that's all the problems I have to look at today. Honestly, one of the easier concepts in algebra, in my opinion. If you do have any questions, please ask them in the comments. Thank you all for watching. 
and I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.